Hey everybody, Logan here, and today, yes, yes, I thought they were done too. They're never done. You guys watch them way too much. Thank you guys so much for watching these and subscribing and all that other good stuff. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you're having a great 2023, and I finally got my hands on the Brawler 64. You're like, wait, you have, you've done that. No, this one's for the Swish, the Nintendo Swish. Yes, because because it's swish. So they have these in multiple colors. They have the standard gray one. They had white. I think they had a, a green or a blue. I don't remember. But this isn't one I was able to order from um, Retro Fighters. But my game store, my trusty local uh, game store, always always gets the good stuff and i got from them it's cybertron games if you guys are in the central florida uh area they have two locations this is where i picked this up so i saw the white one i was like "Ooh, matches my switch oh i don't have that regular white oled anymore but still looks nice with the pokemon one because it's got the white base so i decided to pick this one up the white one because i wanted to use this for the switch on those nintendo 64 games so we're going to open this up connect it to the Switch, and see how good it is. See how just Nintendo 64, okay, I'll shut up. Let's hit that intro and let's go. Okay, so here we go. Here's that beautiful Brawler 64 box. As you guys have seen this before, it's pretty much the same as all the other ones, but for use with Switch, Switch Online and PC, Next generation N64 controller, Bluetooth wireless technology compatible with the Switch, a specifically made for Nintendo Switch Online, NSO. That's going to be for the N64 games. Feature swapping feature, swap between NSO button layout or pro layout, responsive analog stick, wireless range of over 30 feet. So that's going to be cool. It's uh, or pro layout. Hmm, I guess if you're acting as the... Hmm. Let's open it up and find out. That raises some questions when it says Pro Layout. Get okay, my... Ah, there we go. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Yes, the, the Street Fighter theme is once again stuck in my head because the arcade cabinet right behind me. All right, so do I just open it this way? I think so. Yep. Yeah. Right, there we go. Ooh, shiny white, not shiny, but matte white and clean. Like that clean look. Oh, I like that. You got your USB Type-C, always best when it's Type-C. Okay, so we got the home. We got the mice, oh, it comes with some charge. That actually, actually, I'm going to tell you what, this has much more girth, much more weight than the standard one. Ooh, I like that stick. Ooh, that feels much nicer. Actually, actually, I like it better than their, the N64 version, but it's got a much more weight. It's got the share, the button right there. Which button is that? Is there, is there, is there? Is there? Yes! Instructions. If all else fails, please charge for a minute. Nope. Alright. So, let's take a look. Alright, the 18 and 19 buttons. Screenshot and swapping button. What is the swapping button? What is it? Does it say? LED indicators. Zinput, dinput. Okay, the what do you call it controller, that ghillie kit, start defaults to Zinput mode to switch between and press. I don't know what Zinput and Dinput is. I don't know, but we're not using it on PC, so who gives a flying snoot? Okay, that's, that's it for the... That's it. All right, so we're not gonna use it too long, so it's not going to affect it, and I will charge it. There is me switch OLED. So, 
So we're going to put that here and always actually, what do we have to do first? Pair it. All right. So let's do this. We're going to put that there. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Apparently someone pointed out that I said, we're going to zoom out one video and then I zoomed in and I meant to say zoom in. So this time zoom in and zoom in. All right. So change grip order. Um, um, could this one be it? I think that's the, yep. Um, okay, back to pairing. How to pair. Make sure the pro wired communication is turned off. Oh, that's why. Because I think... Okay. Uh, find controllers. I think it's in settings. Controllers and sensor. Pro wire communication is turned off. So make sure that's a thing. In system menu, press the back pairing button for at least three seconds until LEDs flash. Oops, sorry. Press the back pairing button for at least three seconds until LEDs flash quickly. Switch will connect to the gamepad automatically. Okay. So, like I said, there's the button right back there. Can you guys see it? There we go. There we go. Oh, and it comes up as an N64 controller. You guys see that? All right, that's pretty cool. So it does recognize it as a Nintendo 64 controller. That is nifty. So... Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Let's get some music going on. Always suspend game. Okay, so that's the controller. Ah. Oh, that's the home button. Then. Okay. Okay. Start. I'm, I'm still not getting used to it. As you can see, I just barely scratched the surface of this game. I was testing it out. Ooh. Controller feels nice. Okay. Go back. Okay, so this is Z. That is menu. Okay, so that's how it works on this one. Oh, there's something right there on the controller. I don't know what that is. Oh no, it's on a white controller. Okay. But otherwise... Okay, D-pad doesn't do anything on here, but so far so good. Now let's do that again. Let's go to game selection. What should we do? Um, F-Zero, right? F-Zero is always a good one to try. You get, that was me doing air guitar without looking like I'm doing air guitar. It just looks like I was that. Um, let's do practice because... I don't know how it feels with this controller, and I don't want to just go all wonky. We're gonna we're we're gonna basic, basic this game, basic. Falcon Ponge. That's fine. We're just testing it out. Just testing it out. Ooh, feels fine. 
Sorry, I'm actually just fiddle fouling it, not trying to see how responsive it is. Actually, it's very nice. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I know I'm going to come in last. I'm feeling out the controls here. Made you think I was gonna explode. Ah! I forgot how great this game was. I bet you're like, how could you forget how great F Zero is? F Zero X. Yeah, one touch of the wall, and I'm dead. Oh, 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 there we go. Ha, ha, ha. And that's how you, that's how you do it. Is this, oh, yeah, this is just trial, right? Boom, 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 There you go. So, I'm going to give this thumb two controllers. Wait, wait. I'm going to give this controller two thumbs up. Yeah, it's legendary. I'll retire. Apparently, I retired. But yes, I would definitely recommend this controller. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Is it going to make me play again? Yep. Let us quit. See, I was going to go into my spiel, and then it's like, hey. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We'll leave it at that. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. I would definitely recommend uh, the Brawler 64. Uh, remember to follow us on our socials. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Wow, I just realized I got a lot of white controllers. Yeah. For some reason, I like that. But remember back in the day, everybody would get black because... The consoles would be white, and it was like, no, like the Dreamcast and the original 360, and then whatever the color of the console isn't, that's what people would get, and I think that's where we're at now. <laughs> well, at least that's where I'm at. Thank you guys so much. I'll stop rambling on. Like we always say, be legendary, and subscribe! Thanks again.